at the uh, track frame, left hand track frame off the tractor, uh, and then taking the guards etc off. Um, I've got to do this to the other side, I've got to need to order some parts. Uh, so, this is the reason why we've got no steering. Steering clutch pack is seized. Solid. She's lovely. So, we'll take that off, order some new bits. Take all the broken bolts out. Some new brake bands in there because that brake band is probably not working. Hopefully, yeah. Sweet as. So we got the uh, steering clutch pack off. Had to get the puller to pull off that spline. Freed up that release bearing. Uh, so that's good. Grease line's still in that. In there, still in good nick. I don't know how long it's been since it's been greased. So I'll pull that clean out, strip all that out, clean all that up, pull that seal out, put a new seal in there. These are all the steels out of the steering clutch. They don't look too bad, but I'll have to clean them up to see how pitted they are. Um, this, this shaft needs to come out really, but um, I'm going to use it for what I need to use it for and then we will Revisit this dozer for a full overhaul. So these, this was so stuck together that these springs were stuck down. So basically, they weren't. The clutch was never going to release. I uh, actually took all those nuts off, and it still stayed compressed. A few taps with the hammer, and it popped up. Um, so yeah, this is all going to need to be cleaned up. These are the fibres, we'll replace all of them. And we've got the brake band which is worn out, there's only a tiny little bit left in there. So we'll sort that out, put a new seal in there. It's actually a uh, rubber seal that goes in here as well. So we'll clean all that up, place that, place the brake van. This is the final drive side, so it's going to need all cleaning up. But the splines, drive splines are fine. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a groove, but not much. Be a good thing. Order all the parts, they should be here tomorrow or Monday. And uh, happy days. Clean everything up and reassemble it. And then do the other side. So just. Uh, Pulled the other side off. The side actually, uh, apart from a few bolts on the lower roller, track roller guards that snapped, uh, everything else came out, which is a lot better. Um, first thing I notice, no grease line. It's gone. Uh, there's a spring in the bottom from the on the back of the release fork that snapped so I'll have to 
organise another one of them. But yeah, this is the state of play. She is seized solid. Love you long time. Uh, while we're here, we'll unseize that paprik handle as well. So it stops rubbing on that um, hydraulic supply pipe for PDO. Uh, sorry, three point linkage. Start cleaning everything up. It's raining now, so throw a cover over it and uh, tackle that tomorrow. Happy days. This morning. Just gonna heat this nut up first, take that off, and then pull this whole clutch assembly off. Mm, see how it goes anyway. get the pull out and pull this off so we're a bit spoilt didn't have to get the puller out it's actually slid off this shaft and not the other side so all that's pretty free in there um, even though the lack of grease so that just all needs a good clean out pull it off place that seal if that comes out, that could very well halt our progress. Anyway, these are all the spring retaining nuts. Spring retaining plate. First disc is your fibre. And all of these should just pull off there, but they're all rusted, which is why they're not moving up and down. And why you can get away with not having to um, put this in a press, because all these springs are, some are compressed, staying compressed, others are come up like they're supposed to. So you replace all those springs, replace all of these. So you just need to get them off that central hub. Take that, get that spring out of there because it's rusted in there. Get them all cleaned up, get these, that surface there laved because that uh, acts as a steel. Can't take too much off because you need to still be within the specs. But just a real smooth layer just to clean, them, clean that hub up. But yeah, these steels in here will all be pitted. It's a bit of a shame because all these fibers are uh, like on the other side, they were within the spec for thickness to be reused, but they're just uh, it's all welded together essentially. Mmm, no way.
Let's get that sorted. Now this one looks pretty special. Same thing. Clean it up. Heat it up. Try and rattle it off. But this one, this right hand side, great liner. It's new. Now the brake pedal was a bit seized on this side or not adjusted right, so that's probably why that one's pretty good. But there will be replacing that. So yeah, let's have a crack at um, sorting that out. So here we have the steering hub out. Um, yeah, I can't get over how good this brake lining is. It's almost like it's new. Mm. That's pretty. How's your father in there? We'll fix all that. I'll we'll take this whole brake band out. Replace that seal. Especially now we've got some heat on that nut. So yeah. Got to pull the inspection plate off. So you can get a bar in behind the hub. To uh, lever it out. Which again, the hub should free quite, slide quite freely on there, but uh, it's been a while since it's stuck on. That inspection plate, it's one of the few poor things I've seen on this machine. It's pretty much just a nut, the clasp in it, and it's really thin. Steel, inspection cover steel. It's just going to rust out. So either I'll make some new plates or I might even drill and tap and make my own plates. Just four little bolts holding it and seal it up. Happy days. So just uh, take all the splines up. Uh, stop water getting to the rear of the transmission. So now I can, I've got most of the sludge and crap out everywhere. Found a few things on like this. It's broken. There's a nut on the other side that's loose. So the opposing nut to that one. Sort that out. I won't do this one just yet. Oh, I've got the handbrake lever off now. Someone else had had a go at it at some stage and it had a weld where it had been welded back on where they had tried to get it off and uh, ended up breaking it there. So I'll fix that up. But we got it off so we can get it working again anyway. Which is good. Hello old boy, what you doing? Um, so yeah, now I'll just get the hair duster, dry everything off. And um, yeah, happy days.